as small as Founder of Zenoculture, created the ESP code numerology, ESP standard for essence, soul, and purpose, the most accurate, unique, and simplest numerology in the cosmos. Today's video, we're talking about the firmament and the rainbow. We've all seen the rainbow uh, in our lifetimes. Sometimes we've seen the double rainbow, which I'll explain as well. Now, the firmament and the rainbow involves three main elements for us to see the rainbow. The firmament is, if you will, some sort of glass structure. The shape of it is an arch or a dome. This is why you'll always see the rainbow in the same shape of that, in an arch or a dome. So if you remember in science experiments, when you have white light, and that's the sun, because the sun is actually white light, and it hits a glass prism, it then ref refracts seven colors, being uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So that's what we see with our eye. When we have rainwater, rainwater droplets, it acts like a movie projector screen. So then we can see the rainbow. So technically, the rainbow is always around us in the ether. It's the projector screen of the rainwater droplets that allow us to visibly see it. So when we have those two elements, and from air going into the medium of light, we see the shape of the rainbow. When we see a double rainbow, What's happening there is another element's been put in, and that is reflection. So just like, say, and, and if you've seen uh, a double rainbow, you'll notice the colours would be inverse of those seven refracted colours. So say, for example, if you see one here, and the outside would be red, orange, yellow, uh, green, blue, indigo, violet, the, ref the second one on the outer, outer perimeter will be the inverse of that. It's because... It's the same thing as when you're seeing water reflect from a lake or you go into a mirror and you look in the mirror, it's reflecting. The same thing is happening with the second or the double rainbow. So those elements explain what we see scientifically. Now, those seven colors also tie into the seven chakras of the body. This is scientific. This is where 99% of humanity has no fathom whatsoever what the actual firmament is and what the rainbow is. And it all links to scripture. Now that scripture could be from the Christian books or from the ancient Vedic books or from the other ancient books. They all have it. But for example, in King James Version of Genesis 1, 7 to 8, and God created the firmament and divided the waters under the firmament from the waters above the firmament. And then he called the firmament heaven. So if you see me talking about the videos before, I say as above, so below. You may not have picked this up so many times I've been saying it. That's what that is because there's water above us and there's water below us. So I trust this video helps and people can creative and critically integrate think what the true meaning of the firmament and the rainbow is. And just go to scripture, Genesis 1, 7 to 8. Thank you. Blessings. Mm -hmm.